Hello once again everybody, welcome to another river prep video. River seems to get really close isn't it, I'm uh, really really looking forward to it, I can't wait for June 16th to be able to get back on, on flowing water. But for this video I'm going to run you through how to tie the running ledger rig that I use for my bobble fishing. Something a bit different I think than, than most people use. The main advantage is it is so adjustable and so versatile. Now, I've been using this setup for the last sort of six months or so of the last river season last year. I've been tinkering around with it, playing around with it until I'm totally happy with it. Um, I'm a real figure as you know. <laughs> Love playing around with rigs and messing around with baits, trying different things. But now I'm totally satisfied with it and I thought it was time to run you through it uh, in detail, show you how I tie it. I do get asked quite often about uh, how I tie things up on social media. Now you should bear in mind that this running ledger setup is designed to be used with my hook links that uh, I use. Uh, now I've done a video on those which I've tied up previously. Uh, I'll stick a link to it up there if you want to go and have a look at that and I'll stick a link at the end as well. A uh, video shows how to tie them, how I tie them up. Now this uh, running ledger setup is designed to be really, really adjustable which means I don't have to carry lots and lots of hook links around with me. And adjust it on the fly in a matter of seconds uh, to shorten or lengthen the hook link as you'll see in a minute when we tie it. It's very anti-tangle too, uh, it's very important. In fact I've, I've never had a tangle on me to be honest. A couple of close friends have, have started using it as well when they saw me using it and they found it to be a really really good rig. So uh, hopefully it will uh, bring something to your fishing as well. So I think it's probably enough waffle. Let's get down onto the, uh, the desk down here and we'll do some tying. For tying up my running ledger barbel rig, these are the components that I use. The Matrix hook length swivels, size 14, that's the biggest one they do. These are fantastic for putting your hook links on and off very quickly. We'll go through that a little bit more in a minute. You need some big gripper stops, the Drennan big gripper stops. Now as far as running rings go, um, You've got a choice really, you know, you can use any kind of large diameter run ring. I've got Corum one here, also got some Drennan ones as well. They've just got different clips on, which clip on your sort of lead or swim feeder. As long as it's got, as long as it's got a large bore, use whatever you want. I use both the Drennan and the Corum ones. Um, and I've got a Corum camo bolt and run kit here. Um, I never use it in the bolt configuration. I just couldn't get a camo run kit when I bought this one. Uh, but from this you will also, as well as the large ring, you will also need the bead from it, the tulip bead, which protects your main line from the feeder. As an alternative to that, and the ones I tend to use are these, these are the fox ones, fox tulip beads. But I do prefer to use these, and I do prefer to use the large run ring from Corum as well so I think we'll use those to tie it with today but you have got the option I'll take our main line the first thing that goes on to here is the low resistance run ring the larger run ring followed by the tulip bead Maybe a little bit fiddly this one there we go and you can see there if you're not familiar with this sort of setup, the tulip bead protects the line from the weight of the feeder coming across the line. Just protects that line, acts as a buffer when you're casting. Really just protect your main line. Certainly wouldn't use a large feeder without a tulip bead on. Now, next, our line. Cover couple of these big gripper stops. find the big ones useful for barbel fishing for my barber rig because uh, they're a lot grippier. And I actually use a couple as well on here so we'll put a couple of those onto there. There we go. I'll go next onto our main line. So it's a bit easier if you moisten this before you uh, put these on. Push 
crossroads up the line there. So next we take our matrix hook length swivel. I'm going to tie this on with whichever knot you prefer really. So there we are, that's our Palomar snug down. So what we've effectively got in our mocked up bit of main line is a tulip bead which will sit lovely over those two stops there and that will anchor our swim feeder however this will slide right down to that swivel should we want it to thereby adjusting the length of our hook link the weight of the hook length swivel even though it's the big one is negligible and I found it does not act as a pivot point if you're um, when you're casting out it's simply a case then adding on one of your hook links which we tied up and I keep on these winders simply a case of adding one of our hook links from the previous video just there and it's simply a case dropping that braid or fluorocarbon into the crook I hope you can see that alright and you just simply pull down that little bit of rubber and there we are that's our hook link swivel running ledger rig and as I said very very adjustable very quick to change can even land a fish and drop that off there leave them in the water with just the hook link attached effectively take off the hook link so quick with these these matrix hook length swivels and you're away hook links off as I say merely seconds to adjust the length of your hook link effective length of your hook link that is as we know barbel will sometimes be right on the feeder in which case a hook link like this which is perhaps two foot long would be perfect you know should I want to I could even easily easily take this down to a foot <laughs> not, not sure I ever would but I could easily take that down to a foot simply in case of cutting it and tying another another loop in it and as I say it's very very easy to just clip this on onto there pull a bit of rubber over and we're away we're fishing and I can, as I say I can adjust the length of that as far at the main line as I want and effectively make my hook link as long as I want it days when the barbel are perhaps backing off the feeder or being a bit cautious or perhaps you know you're fishing with a two foot hook link and you're not getting any bites slide that up make it six foot five foot all of a sudden perhaps you're getting bites so there you have it that's how I tie my running ledger barbel rig I'm going to use probably 99% of my barbel fishing I'm going to be using it a lot this season definitely I've got a few different venues in store for this season which uh, we've got a decent chance of catching the barbel so really looking forward to that as you've seen it's a really versatile rig and it's so quick and easy to adjust works great with my hook links that we tied in that previous video means if I want to change you know from maybe just my standard two foot hook link up to a six or eight foot hook link it's just a case of sliding those beads up it's not a problem at all it's really really quick and easy well maybe that'll get you thinking about your own rigs or if you want to just straightforward copy it that's brilliant and if it lands you a few more fish even better but it certainly make your life on the bank a lot easier for sure I hope you find it useful anyway and uh, get something from the video but all there is left to do is to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I really hope you get something from it. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons. And I'll see you all again very soon.